In this video we're going to look at how to set up bobcat to cut with a laser, water jet, or plasma cutter. So by default milling stock is set up in milling mode. So when we come to milling stock and right click on it, you'll see that we get all of our drilling options, all of our two axis cutting, and all of our three axis cutting. Now in order to switch this over to the plasma or laser or water jet mode, you'll have to have no tool path set up in the tree and what we'll do is we'll come up to the little plus symbol next to cam part and click on that. Now below that we have milling tools. We can right click on this and then go to its current settings. And you'll see the first thing in here is the machine tab. Now the machine tab can be used to set up default post processors as well as some other settings uh, in the software. But this machine make and model is really for the uh, laser plasma water jet settings and you can also add and remove from this. We'll go ahead and look at that in another video though. But for laser plasma and water jet, what we'll want to do is pick the machine that we're going to be cutting with. Let's say we're going to be using a laser. You'll notice that the model and type changed over to laser. And what you'll also want to do is come to your machining uh, posting tab and then select the correct mill post file. In this case, you'll see it. I'm already set up for a generic laser.mill post. Now, if you have a specific post or have downloaded a specific post, you want to choose select and then locate that file. And in this case, I'll use generic laser. And we'll choose OK. Now you'll see that the post processor down here, the name under milling stock, has changed to generic laser. Now when we right click milling stock, being that we're in the laser plasma or water jet mode, you'll see when we go to drill, all of the drilling options are now grayed out. And when we come to mill 3 axis, the same. But under mill 2 axis, we have one option, which is profiling. And you'll notice now, below the profile, instead of saying ML rough or ML finish, it now says laser. So we'll select some geometry, say OK, and then edit the toolpath. Now, when you're in laser plasma or some of these settings will not pertain to you, like the approach and entry. If you're not using a Z height control, none of the values that refer to Z will really matter. Under patterns, your offset will be used, either left or right, or the machine comp. And then you have some depth settings, and again, this doesn't the depth doesn't change anything for a plasma laser or water jet. We'll come to our leads, and we'll go ahead and set a small right angle lead, let's say a quarter of an inch. So you'll need to set your leads as well, and a overlap if necessary. The cornering types will also take effect, as well as any work offsets that you might use on your machine. But you'll see where the big difference is. When we click on laser, you'll see that the feeds are different as well as the tool here is different. You have diameter, uh, which will be the diameter of your beam. Then your gas type, if using any. Air, oxygen, oxyacetylene, and whether or not if you want the cutter to be turned on or off, the gas on or off, and the shutter as well. So these really vary. Now if you don't have these controls on your machine, you don't have to worry about these. Now you have a feed rate, a pierce dwell time, pulse frequency, power setting. Now these might vary machine by machine. Whether or not if you need them to fill out, uh, need to even fill them out at all, you'll really want to refer to your machine manual and see whether or not if you set those values. Some machines will set those values all on their own by calling up the proper tool or setting a material type inside of the posting. Then you have a torch height control, again if applicable on your machine and then an arc slowdown. So what the system can do is it can automatically slow down your feed rate every time that it hits an arc or a corner. We'll then click OK and now we can post out the code for the plasma machine. Now, or laser I should say. Now it's the same for the other machines. When you come to your current settings, you can choose your machine type plasma or water jet. Now you'll see since I already have a laser toolpath in here it will not allow me to change that until we get rid of the laser toolpath. So plasma and water jet work in the same manner. So that's how you change your settings in Bobcat from milling over to plasma, laser, or water jet. And that will conclude this video.